it off. We start with business owners in Roanoke who have been raising some concerns about recent road changes on Shenandoah Avenue. WDBJ 7's Maya Howard spoke with locals about the need for a solution to ensure safety. If you stay out here 30 minutes, you can watch people crossing over both into the white buffer zone uh, of the bike lane and the double yellow. Peter Shank owns his business about clean on the strip of Shenandoah Avenue. My thought is it's more dangerous for the cars than it is for the bicycles. He says he was initially excited about the new pavement, but the line markings makes the lanes more difficult to navigate. I had a van coming at me over this hill the other day. I pulled out, tried to keep it as tight as I could. He didn't see me until the last minute and he went over into the bike lane. We spoke with Complete Streets and Vision Zero coordinator Robert Ism about the concerns. He says moving both bike lanes to one side of the street provided an increase in safety for cyclists. And one safety enhancement that all businesses on that corridor will benefit from are the traffic calming effects by the new roadway configuration. So by having those two 10 foot lanes and the bike lanes on the other side, it's going to encourage motorists to drive at a speeds that are safer for that entire corridor. And that will really increase safety for everybody, including their customers, as well as people that are just passing through. Shank says Shenandoah Avenue is a heavy industrial traffic area. He says you can barely turn without going into incoming traffic. They're so wide that their tires are over the lane. We literally have about 20 some inches between the curb and the white line where before we had three feet. Ism says to address the concerns, they will be adding bollards along the bike lane and conducting a speed survey to potentially lower the speed limit. Reporting in Roanoke, Amaya Howard, WDBJ7.